Welcome to Opel STV. Today I'm in Paris in the office of Key Quant. I'm joined by the two co-founders, Raphael and Robert. So please, Raphael, maybe let's start with you. Please introduce your company to us. Thank you, Matthias, for being here. Kikwant is an uh, innovative asset management company looking for new ways of catching trends. After three years of intensive research, we created Kikwant in 2009. And since then, we've been outperforming our peers year after year. With our seven year track record, the strategy has won many awards, including the best long-term performing CTA delivered by HFM. But Kikwant can be defined not only by its outperforming returns. Kikwant is also a close-knit team offering strong added value. From compliance to risk management, from middle office to research. Our institutional setup has allowed us to offer our systematic strategy to large institutions such as public pension, ERISA pension, uh, fund of funds, investment banks, mainly in North America and Europe. Could you please tell us more about your Key Trends program? Our Key Trends program is a fully systematic trend following strategy. We have three main differences to our peers. First, auto-adaptability. Auto-adaptability increases the resilience in difficult periods. We have also a tail risk analysis which offer a better protection in market stress. And finally, we have this unique CTA investment timer to increase the convexity of our returns. You know, sometimes PMs and clients use their emotion to drive the decision-making process during market fluctuation. And that is why, with Raphael, we decided to have a clear and structured trading process. This led us to implementing a trading strategy which is 100% systematic and auto-adaptive to market regime. Why is auto-adaptivity so important? To answer your question, maybe I can give you a comparison. Uh, you can imagine the pilot of a Boeing 777 who, in the middle of a storm, decides to reconfigure the flight instruments. By acting like this, you easily understand that the pilot sharply increases the chance of an accident. And this is exactly the same for systematic trading. If in the middle of a drawdown, the manager changes the training rules or parameters, he sharply increases the risk of digging into a deeper hole. You know, to avoid this temptation, the trading system has to have rules and parameters which are not fitted to a specific environment. Here at Kikwant, we believe that history never repeats in the same manner, and so each element of the model has to be able to self-adapt to a changing environment. We currently trade 50 futures markets. They are analyzed by the, the model with the same signals and parameters. We do not make assumption from which market the future returns will come from. The, the auto-adaptability of our program has contributed to an outperformance of 20% versus the New Age CTA Trend Index and this during the CTA re recession from 2011 to 2013. 
we can say that, that our program is all weather. So instead of being amazing in specific market at specific periods, it will provide a good behavior on all markets at all times. This is very interesting. You previously mentioned an unconventional risk management. Can you tell us more about that, please? A typical city has something close to a binary approach. There is a trend or there is no trend. A typical city uses different trend following tools like moving averages, RSI or momentum to filter the best trending markets. This results in switching from one state, so long, neutral or short, to another. Maybe I can give you an example. So one day you are fully invested on the S&P 500, then another day you will switch to neutral. And so there is no continuity. It is as though a trend appears for a number of weeks and then suddenly disappears. This does not make sense to us. Our goal at Kikwant is to profit more from market trends, investing sooner at the beginning of trend and adding more to the exposure in the middle of a trend. Investing at the beginning of trends can be very profitable for our investors, but in uncertain market environment, we have to be very precise at calculating risk. And when we are increasing exposure in the middle of a trend, we have to be very reactive on trending adjustments to avoid losing the gains if a reversal occurs. And this is why, at Kikwant, we have completely redefined the way we consider risk. Risk is no more an independent value based only on markets. Risk is measured as the alignment of markets to our strategy. To use Robert's metaphor, you can imagine all existing flying machines. They are not built the same way and they don't have the same purposes or goals. A plane, a helicopter or an, an airship are not sensitive to the same risk. So their pilot will share the, uh, some of the same instruments, but they will use it in different ways. And moreover, uh, some instrument will be designed specifically for each flying machine. Redefining the way we measure risk led us to differentiate normal risk from extreme risk. Normal risk answers the question of how does this market normally move from the point of view of a trend analysis. Extreme risk or terror risk represents an undesired market behavior. Our definition of tail risk is completely different from our peers. It is not a market tail risk like a VAR or CVAR or any classic measure. Our tail risk is the risk that our trading system provides erroneous information due to the fact that the characteristic of the trend is no longer present. Now we understand why your tail risk analysis is so different. I also noticed an unconventional CTA timer tool. Yes, Matthias. You know, it's just common sense. As an investor, you want to profit from the great opportunities a CTA can give you. Truly uncorrelated returns and great run-ups but you also want to avoid noisy markets. We have developed a proprietary indicator that is able to adjust the risk exposure to trends. We call it Global Economic Factor or GEF. And this indicator rates the trendiness of each market and calculates a global rating of the environment. So, when the environment is great, the strategy will get more, expo more exposure and when it detects turmoil or noisy markets, 
investment is decreased. Therefore, it can amplify both upside potential and protect downside risk. It will adjust the exposure much faster than any investment committee might be able to. Really, this tool sharply increases the convexity of our return profile. And this other step of systematization generated a great alpha to our investors. Systematization seems to be a part of the DNA of KeyQuant. Can you tell us more about it? Systematization is key to us. When Robert and I started designing the KeyTrends model, we agreed that we wanted a clear and structured trading process. Systematization means that at one point, we have been able to perfectly explain our process of decision. As a matter of fact, we apply the same philosophy to running KeyQuant. It means that on a daily basis, instead of spending our time do doing the same task over and over again, we work at creating or enhancing processes. Another aspect relies on the quality of what we deliver. When you need to explain perfectly your process and consider all the possible situations, it demands a lot of certain ingenuity. And so when facing a new situation or new challenge, one can focus on the best and most efficient way to solve it. Systematization is the most efficient way to get the best of everyone in the company. We work hard to reduce low value added tasks. Everyone should use their innovative abilities to get the company moving forward. Innovation is one of the keys to success and innovation can be made at all levels. At KeyQuant, we do really offer a great working environment that gives autonomy and promotes creativity. To get the best from people, they need to be able to make a step back and rethink the way they are working. This is one of the great results of systematization. That being said, our recent asset growth is giving us the opportunity to have new great people joining us in the coming few months. So I invite candidates to visit our website at kikwan.com. You have just mentioned your team and your setup. And this leads me to ask you, how did you decide to set up here in Paris? And secondly, how were you able to attract such large investors at your beginnings? Yes, in fact, both questions have somewhat the same answer. We are registered in France with the AMF, a very demanding control authority. Since inception, we had to offer an institutional setup for all our operational procedures. This allowed us to pass ODDs of very large investors. We are also re registered with the SEC and as a CTA and CPO with the NFA. But Paris is also a great location to find talented people and especially engineers. Kikwant has a cutting edge risk management, a fluid reconciliation process, a stringent shadow accounting and a very high level of cyber security in place. Our team has done a really great job. Thank you a lot for this interview. Uh, do you want to add something for our viewers? Sure. Do not hesitate to visit our website where you can find more information on the company and the strategy. Thanks, Matthias. It was really a pleasure to have you here.